Since the night of his death in 1621, when his heart was removed and taken from Rome to Flanders, there have been any number of reliquaries holding the heart of our patron, St. John Berkman's. We were all privileged to venerate his heart in the new reliquary in December 2016 when it left Belgium for the first time in 395 years and came here. Well, back in 1865 when he was beatified, his heart, which had been in this very reliquary, was placed into a new one. But some of the fragments and smaller pieces and particles of his heart remained and were gathered up and placed in a small white vessel in the shape of a heart with a flame coming out of the top of the heart and then kept in this reliquary, which was made in the early 19th century, crafted in Ghent with copper and such intricate, solid, sterling, silver, craftsmanship and rubies. At the very top, we see the three things that are always depicted with our patron saint, the crucifix, the rosary, and the rule book. On the side, we see the letter I, the Latin for Johannes, and B for Berkman's. And here we see a first-class relic of a bone, most likely taken from a finger or for his toe. I really would like to invite you all to come here, kneel as I was doing earlier, venerate the heart of our patron, pray for vocations for the Diocese of Shreveport and also the Flemish Jesuits who are the ones who gave us this. And whenever you kneel before here, you can think of the words of St. John Berkman himself who said, whenever I think of Jesus and his mother, it so sets my heart on fire. <laughs>